Hi. Uh, the purpose of this uh, video is to show you how uh, the fringe attachment for the NC portables is utilized and how easy it is to uh, use. The first thing you do before you apply fringe onto carpet is you bind the edge of the carpet. And the reason for that is when you go to sew the flat part of the fringe onto the carpet, it must be sewn onto the binding not onto the carpet because then it would shift all over. So you bind your carpet edge first, whether you use 7 eighths or inch and a quarter binding, it doesn't make any difference. After your carpet is bound, you'll receive from us when you order it, a fringe guide attachment. It comes like this with two mounting screws. And um, basically the fringe guide attachment consists of two pieces. The uppermost piece, this here, is for, for actually guiding the fringe or putting the flat part of the fringe where you want it to be. And the bottom part over here is where the carpet is actually going to go. And so you're going to, uh, and the carpet is going to go all the way in and you're going to usually adjust this pretty much far to the right so that that's your guide. And then this here, which we're going to lock the screws in a minute, will be your guide for your fringe. And you go about five, six inches at a time, which I'll show you once we've mounted on the machine. So step one is we remove these two screws to remove your tape folder. Loosened, I take the tape folder off, out of the way. I take the fringe guide attachment up here, and I mount these two screws in it to hold it. I'm going to lock these two here, with the uppermost guide all the way to the right because that's usually more or less the position you want it in for the fringe. And then I'll put these on. We got a little bit of luck here. We'll get started pretty quick. Okay. Now I'm gonna. I didn't, I didn't lock these two screws down because I want to slide this folder over here. Let me just lock one down now, so that when the carpet comes out and the needle comes down, it's going to go basically in the middle of the fringe. So let's see if this guide is set. Right, we. I think we want to move this over a little further to the right. There we go. Let's try that. Now, the way you start it is you start the fringe first. So, lift your feed wheel. Put your needle up. fringe under, drop your feed wheel, and we sew a little bit of the fringe. And then we take the carpet that we're going to sew the fringe onto, and we put it under here, and you push the carpet up to the feed wheel, and you, one thing you want to do is you don't want to hold the fringe back, because you'll stretch it. And then when you finish sewing it onto the carpet, the carpet will ripple. So you just line the fringe up, not straight, but to the left. This guy will automatically put it in its place. I lay it there, and I go a few inches at a time. You must remember to keep your carpet tucked against the guide. Line this up here. I'm going to go to my... Thumb gets near there, and then I'm going to line up my fringe again. And remember, don't hold back on the fringe. And there you go. And usually, fringe is applied to the border of runners. So you're only going to go about three feet, because most runners are 24 to 36 inches wide. 
and you can see here the fringe sewn on beautiful job not all the way up here not all the way down there lays lays gorgeous and it's it's sewn on